Planet Dolan. What ancient monument could collapse within the next five years? What World Heritage Site is already one-third gone? Here are 15 historical places that are crumbling because of tourism. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Physically, the pyramids are having a hard time because of erosion, but they're such a common tourist trap now that the history and culture of the site has really worn off. Visitors to the pyramids today say that they can see them from the Pizza Hut, where they're surely getting a very traditional Egyptian experience. Number 14. A medieval era city in India is considered a World Heritage Site and has seen its tourism quadruple in the last decade or so. It's a beautiful city, but it's kind of made of sandstone. That makes it hard to maintain as it is, but it also suffers from a sewage system that has cracked and flooded under the number of visitors it gets now. Number 13. Machu Picchu is Peru's most significant historical site and one of the most popular tourist destinations in South America. But it's ultimately ancient infrastructure built at the top of a mountain. The entire area is under threat of a massive landslide, and every year hundreds of thousands of tourists weaken things a little more. And those are just the regular ones. In the year 2000, during an on-location shoot for a beer commercial, the hitching post of the sun, an ancient sundial, was damaged by a falling boom mic. Number 12. Defacing the walls of Rome's ancient Colosseum is expressly forbidden. So naturally, people do it all the time. Several times in the last year, tourists from America, France, Russia, and any number of other places have been arrested for carving their initials, names, or other things into the walls of the historic site. Number 11. Stonehenge is considered one of the world's most disappointing tourist destinations and is also one of the most threatened. Traffic continues to choke the roads past Stonehenge, which is increasingly just a small site in the middle of nowhere. It took until 2013 for them to even build so much as a visitor center. Most days, people can't even get close to the stones, but when they do, on the summer and winter solstices, the site suffers all sorts of damage, from graffiti, to chewing gum, to people literally trying to light fires on them. Number 10. The Galapagos Islands are basically the reason we have the theory of evolution, and the wildlife on these secluded islands is some of the most unique in the world. Unfortunately, word has gotten out, and the islands now host about 2,000 tourists a year. And what happens when you take a delicate, secluded ecosystem and jam 200,000 humans into it? Yeah, that's what's happening. Number 9. The Taj Mahal brings in over 3 million visitors a year, more than twice that of any other tourist destination in India. But the marble structure has been ravaged by pollution from surrounding factories and industry and the wooden floors have become so damaged by the intense foot traffic, experts believe the foundation could collapse within the next five years. Number 8. Parthenon hasn't really been the victim of extreme damage from tourists directly. It's just that Greece hasn't put much effort into maintaining it. Previous attempts to restore the Parthenon to make it more accessible to tourists have actually done more damage. Iron pins added to stabilize the structure in the 19th century ended up rusting, causing new cracks in the marble. The Parthenon also suffers from pollution damage. Number 7. Mostly, people who visit the Great Barrier Reef are respectful of it and treat it with care and caution. But a small number of visitors will trample on parts of the reef or damage them by getting a little too handsy while diving. That's to say nothing of people who head out there on their boats and just toss their anchors onto the reef. Number 6. Tulum is one of the last bastions of Mayan civilization. Unfortunately, it's also close to Cancun, and it's treated similarly. Tulum is an important site for both history and ecology, but important areas are being cleared out for more beach resorts. Mexico's government had to cancel nine major construction projects in 2015 just to stem the tide. Number 5. Cambodia's Angkor Wat saw a massive explosion in tourism, from about 7,600 tourists in 1993 to about 3 million visitors in 2010. Damage is being done to the thousand-year-old temple daily, with thousands of people a day climbing on walls, stepping on statues, and touching everything they can. Number 4. A fair number of people visit Antarctica every year to see penguins, ski, and just experience the extremes of the climate. And with tourists come trash, and disturbed ice shelves, and a bunch of very upset penguins. Number 3. 
Bali has become one of the most famed tourist destinations in the Pacific Ocean, and now it is being destroyed by its own successes. The environment, culture, and even local language of Bali is under attack by an onslaught of tourism, and the island paradise slowly becomes an overdeveloped concrete jungle of a tourist trap. Number 2. Mount Everest is covered with trash! Because who's gonna go up there and pick up litter? Of course, it's not all water bottles and chip bags. The remains of climbers who didn't quite make it to the top also cover the slopes of the world's most famous mountain. Number 1. It's no secret that the Great Wall of China is an impressive historic monument. Everybody knows you can see it from space, and that it's been there for centuries. What you may not know is that about a third of it is gone. Despite efforts to maintain it, the wall is crumbling from age and heavy foot traffic. It was really only built for a few soldiers to walk along the top of. Now, it suffers the weight of millions of visitors a year. Which of these places would you like to visit? And preferably not ruin? Leave us your comments and we'll pin our favorite to the top. Catch you guys next time.